If you want to be successful, you must understand how extremely successful people invest their time. So what's going on, guys? It's Uzziah, your success strategist, and I want to hop into the top three things that you need to understand about how world-class individuals manage their time. Make sure you subscribe. The first thing that all world-class people do people are at the top of their game in terms of their success is with managing their time. These people, they do the most important things first in their day. Okay. These people do the most important things first and they let go of all treadmill activities. So what do I mean when I say they do the most important things first? Have you ever went through a day? And you know you had something important to do, but it was really hard of a project to work on. You really didn't feel like doing that much of it. So you kind of put it off to the back burner saying that you would get to it at another day or maybe another time, right? Maybe later on in the day. Successful, extremely world-class people, they have conditioned themselves not to do that. See, while the average person would be inclined to put the most important thing off to the back burner because it feels like pain, it feels like work to do, it's not easy. The most important things in our life are often not easy to do. They are oftentimes can feel very difficult. Successful people have conditioned and rewired their minds to always begin the day doing the most important thing first. This is something that's super important that you need to focus on really doing starting today because your life is going to constantly be on a treadmill if you prioritize what feels good, what feels easy, what feels fun or feels quick as the first couple things that you need to be getting done in a day. Because let's be honest, by the time that you get rid of all of those trivial things that you just check the box on to feel happy about yourself, by the time that the end of the day is up, you don't have any energy to work on the most important thing. You're already tired. You're already burnt out. You're already ready to go to sleep and get back to another day's worth of work. But so many of us go through a life where we keep repeating the cycle over and over and over again. I'll do the easy things. I'll let my time be consumed with that. When it comes to the hard stuff, back burner. And then tomorrow never comes, okay? The most successful people do the most important things first. And they let go of all treadmill activities. Let me tell you something that's extremely important. And I'm giving this to you all, all for free. These are things that I have had to learn over time from multimillionaires. Multimillionaires are always big on trading money to buy back their time. They trade their money to buy back their time. So if there are certain treadmill activities that the average person has to spend their time doing every single day because just a maintenance part of life, those will be the first kind of things that a successful person would have somebody else do, delegate or eliminate, maybe even automate. So that way they can buy back their time. If you notice, you look at so many successful people. You might see that they have a chef. Why is that? Is it because they all want to be pretentious and bougie? Or does it take time to prepare meals for yourself every single day of the week? <laughs> right? So if you're spending all of this time where you're preparing all of these meals, well, unless you're about to be a chef and have your own restaurant going, you're actually squandering hours pursuing your dream and the massive amount of time that you're spending making meals. You could be spending so many hours cleaning around the house, but yet you don't have a cleaning business. You could be spending so many hours just doing all these chores that you could have easily paid somebody else $5 to do, $10 to do, that you're just letting go of all of your time in pursuit of a much lower level activity. People that are extremely successful understand one thing. Time is more valuable than money. So if someone 
has a mindset that their time is worth a certain amount of dollars per hour, they're not going to freely relinquish that time in exchange for doing an activity that they could have otherwise paid another person to do a very minute amount of money to be able to do for them as a substitute, right? <laughs> it's very rare that I do cleaning, cooking, chores, or other things around the house. Why? Because I'm focusing on the most important things. I'm focusing on the things primarily that only I can do to move the needle. The things that I could get somebody else to do to, to, to you know, make sure I have a, a meal, make sure that I have, you know, fresh clothes. I can just delegate that out. And that's what you need to start doing if you want to be able to manage your time better. Otherwise, you're going to be known as the world's best dishwasher. I'm just giving you guys the real blunt truth about how extremely successful people invest their time. I promise you that Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, none of these guys are going through a day thinking about, oh, damn, well, when I get home from work, you know what? I got to cook this dinner. I got to fold my clothes. I got to be able to wash the dishes and all of these things. And I know what you're saying, but you say, I don't have billionaire money, so that's why I have to do it. Honestly, I'm going to tell y'all, for a lot of y'all, it's a cop out because you've never actually even looked into how much it would cost, how little it would cost to be able to get somebody that's more skilled than you in these areas to do half the things that I just talked about within an hour's time. And if you value your time on a certain level, you're going to focus on trading your money to buy back your time. OK, because with that extra time afforded, guess what? You could always be focusing on things that's helping you make more money, taking you to that next level. The second thing, they maximize their energy. They invest their time into having more energy to bring the best of themselves to the table. So whenever I look at somebody that I've been personally mentored by, I've been mentored by easily over five multimillionaire mentors. You know, one of the things that I always notice that they all have in common, every single one of them has a workout routine. Most of them have a nutritionist. Some of them have a chef. Most of them have a chef and they focus on having exercise as a part of their daily routine. Now, what's so funny about this is most of these guys don't even really like exercising that much. Half of them are nerds. They're not even that diesel or that brolic anyway, but they're in the gym and they're exercising because they recognize that their energy is directly correlated with their productivity and their results. See, if you have no energy to be able to bring to the table, how are you going to be able to produce a strong result? There's a direct correlation between people that have a lot of energy and people that are reaching certain levels of success. So if you find that you're always low energy, feeling lethargic, this is where you need to start rearranging your schedule to invest more time in you uh, amping up everything that goes into your diet, your health, and maintaining great levels of energy. Think about operating off of a better diet. Understand that for most successful people, most successful people, they don't trip off of um, getting eight hours of sleep because they understand that sleep works for them and not against them. You talk to anybody else, they don't really want to sleep that much because they feel like if they sleep, they're going to be missing out on success. When in actuality, some of the wealthiest people on the planet today, they sleep eight hours a day because it's about them having a fresh mind and a heaviest dose of energy that they can possibly have when they go into operating in their craft, operating in their gift. OK, they're not their enterprise is far too important for their success to be sabotaged by being sleep deprived, by eating a junk food diet. Why do you think that all of these successful people have nutritionists? 
that pick out their meals for them because they understand that their success and their energy go hand in hand. Last point that I want to give to you, how extremely successful people invest their time. Extremely successful people invest their time in being learning machines. You know, one of my mentors really dro drove home this point to me when they told me that Warren Buffett in the prime of his career was spending eight hours a day focused on reading. And I would just be so blown away with that because I would look at myself and say, man, you know, here it is. Warren Buffett is spending eight hours a day reading. And over 80% of Americans have not read one book this entire year to be able to help themselves become more successful. So what's the difference? Is it that Warren Buffett got to a place of riches and wealth first and then started reading and learning more about success? Or did Buffett read and learn as much as he could to help his business become successful and there in turn the success followed see a lot of times you know especially like with the mindset that you have you, it, it sets you on this path of a schedule where you're putting the cart before the horse you don't start grinding 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 then try to learn you learn and then you grind right but so many of us we discredit the importance and the significance of learning anything that we don't even really make a point of it. And that's the reason why we get stuck in a box. You get stuck in a box in your life because you don't know the information that you need to know to get yourself out of it. So you do the same job working for the same company in the same role because you don't know any new information to be able to think outside of the box. When Steve Jobs was making the iPhone, one of the reasons why Steve Jobs was able to think in such an innovative way is because he was always learning something. Each and every day, you got to train yourself to learn. <laughs> and if you can train yourself to learn something new every single day, boy, won't your life look a lot different in a short amount of time. If you commit to learning one new thing every single day, then that means in one year's time from now, you will have made a 365% improvement in the knowledge that you have. Could being that more knowledgeable help you move forward in your business? Could it help you accelerate your career? I would think so. And so I want you to start getting this down because this is how extremely successful people invest their time. I want you to check out the Empire Builder below because it's a free gift that's going to show you even more about how extremely successful people invest their time, far beyond what I just gave to you in this video. And if you can, leave me a comment and let me know what one thing that you're gonna to do to be able to do better at investing your time rather than wasting your time. Make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you share this video with a friend and I'll see you on the next episode of Black Men's Career. Take care.